Recently, at the Adash 2024 Defense Exhibition held in Manila, one of the most interesting displays was the actual M142 HIMARS from the U.S. Armed Forces. This system has been actively showcased by Lockheed Martin, aiming to meet the requirements of the Armed Forces of the Philippines AFP, for two major projects, the Integrated Multi-Launch Rocket System Acquisition Project and the Integrated Land-Based Missile System Acquisition Project for both the Philippine Army and the Philippine Marine Corps. HIMARS is up against strong competition, particularly South Korea's K-239 Chunmu by Hanwha Aerospace, which was featured earlier, as well as Israel's Pulse System by Elbit Systems. However, the HIMARS has a proven track record, especially in recent conflicts like the war in Ukraine. It has demonstrated its effectiveness in delivering powerful artillery and precision long-range fire capabilities, which has been a key asset for Ukrainian forces against Russian military targets. This experience could add significant weight to its consideration by the AFP. The Philippine Army and Marine Corps have outlined that they are seeking a multi-launch rocket system MLRS, and land-based missile system LBMS, capable of both rocket artillery and delivering saturated firepower over a wide area. However, they are also looking for systems that offer precision strikes, particularly with short-range ballistic missiles. The HIMARS is known for its use of the ATACMS ballistic missile. Although the ATACMS is now out of production, it's gradually being replaced by the Precision Strike Missile PRSM, in U.S. inventories. This change is timely, as the U.S. plans to send older ATACMS stocks to Ukraine. In the Philippine context, there is still some uncertainty over whether the U.S. government will authorize the sale of the newer PRSM to the AFP. This will be a critical factor influencing the decision-making process for both the Department of National Defense DND, and the Armed Forces of the Philippines AFP. While the HIMARS can technically fire unguided 130mm rocket artillery, this isn't seen as the most efficient use of the system's advanced capabilities. HIMARS is designed for high-precision targeting rather than standard rocket artillery, making it more suitable for precision-guided munitions. One of its biggest advantages, compared to systems like the Chunmu or Pools, is its compact size. The HIMARS can be easily transported by AC-130 aircraft, allowing for rapid deployment across different areas, which is a key operational advantage for the Philippines, given its archipelago geography. However, one interesting point from the Adosh display was the visible burn marks near the front of the rocket launcher, indicating that this particular HIMARS unit has seen frequent use. According to sources, this unit has been in the Philippines for several months and has likely been used by AFP personnel for familiarization and training. This could imply two things. Either the AFP is preparing for a future HIMARS procurement, giving their troops a head start in mastering the system, or it could be part of efforts to enhance interoperability between U.S. and Filipino forces. With the U.S. expected to deploy more HIMARS units to the Philippines in case of emergencies, joint training and operations will be crucial. Overall, the presence of HIMARS at Adosh 2024 was more than just a display of advanced technology. It reflects broader geopolitical and defense considerations, especially in light of the growing partnership between the U.S. and the Philippines in defense and security matters. Whether the HIMARS ultimately becomes part of the AFP's arsenal remains to be seen, but its track record, strategic fit, and current training efforts certainly position it as a strong contender for the AFP's future missile and rocket artillery systems.